This is Bailey with the Fiercely Independent Network, and we are here at the Tinker Street Cinema for the screening of Horton Foot: The Road to Home. It's fun. I love hearing you say the character in my film because he's he's just the guy in my film. He's just Horton Foot, who I've known all those years. It wasn't just I knew the man and I knew his beauty and I knew his, you know, his uh, important place in the world, in the art world, long before I started filming him. And then, of course, I got, you know, I've seen that movie 200 times in various stages in editing rooms and whatever. And, uh, but did my, and so I guess it, in some ways, my relationship just in the aftermath made me more intimate with every little nuance of who he was. I'm not a documentary filmmaker by trade. This is my only documentary, only thing I've ever directed and produced. And, uh, I'm in the feature film world, and so post-production was kind of new to me, and that was, the, that was the hard part to get into. But once I did, and I found the right team in Austin, then we've been, we did all of the post-production in like a matter of another two or three years. I wanted this film to be about Horton and about that hometown, because it shaped him, and it was everything he was in his writing. And uh, that's what I want people to be surprised at, that what comes through is how a man can write 70 years of stories about one small town in Texas and never write the same story. And that's what writers need, that the, back to the young writers, that's what they need to see. You know, you don't have to go write some Marvel comic movie to write a good story. You gotta be fierce and stick to your guns and write your stories. And uh, that's, what, that's what Horton did. And that's what, I'm a writer, and that's what it means to me. I grew up in the film industry with independence. I don't know another way, so I couldn't even talk about the other way. For more from the Fiercely Independent Network and to learn more about the festival, please visit www.woodstockfilmfestival.org.